tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. What can you say about that suggestion? Well, I think for different individuals, it's different. Mm -hmm. Depends on the situation. And mm -hmm. there are times when somebody will do something and it will be one of those, oh, I can't believe it kind of things. And then it will be in the middle of a day. Mm -hmm. I'll just say, well, okay. Yeah. But that, that person was probably having a bad day or some, because that understanding of compassionate latitude mm -hmm. to the other person, there could be reactive things going on. So that's one level. But if I take other things that have come, such as the, the passing or the death of a loved one, yeah. or someone going through a, another kind of traumatic ending to a relationship. Yes. Well, that takes a different kind of time process. I don't know that 72 hours would do it. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, you know, because I'm just coming up to the fifth year anniversary of my mother's passing. Mm -hmm. for the day, um, the day after Thanksgiving this year. Mm -hmm. And for me, that took a few years of yeah. passage because we were very, very close. Yes. It's yes. different with every situation. How I chose to deal with some of that was as I was going through her thing, I purposely found places to, to share everything with intention. She had a walker and a wheelchair and canes. And I mm -hmm. found a nonprofit that was an hour from where I lived in Ohio called Wheels yeah. of Hope that refurbished mm -hmm. these and sent them to third world countries. I mm -hmm. donated things that she had to places where I knew they would help other people. Yeah. And I did it with purpose and intention. And that was part of my healing process and part of the memory process. I think for it's for different situations, it's different. Yes. 72 hours, you know, for something that's right in front of us, maybe depending on the individual. Yeah. Because I don't know everyone in every situation. So sometimes it's hard to put a time limit. Although I'll tell you, don't take 10 years. No, <laughs> don't, don't, take, don't take a long time. Because when I was talking before about that mind loop, mm -hmm. we know in the neurophysiology, there's a saying, there's a scientist by the name of Hebb. Hebb's law mm -hmm. is what fires together gets wired together. Mm -hmm. It becomes, in the words of Dr. Bruce Lipton, biology of the belief. Mm -hmm. If you're going to keep looping and looping and looping in this story, you're going to believe it. And in metaphysics, you're going to create that energy field. You're going to embody it. Yes. That is your outcome. Yes. You've got to change the belief. Yes. And why I like what you're saying where uh, you mentioned earlier that it brought you joy. It brought you zillions. And can you please explain more about it to our audience? It's just that you, you have a choice. Mm -hmm choice point at every moment and it's 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 as simple as saying that I can either be sad and depressed about this situation or I can decide to say well but how can I make this better yeah. and then whenever we focus on helping other people instead of focusing on ourselves we can actually shift Yes. Into coherent. A hundred percent quicker. And when I'm more focused on the the syndrome of like like after my mom, like oh poor me kind of thing, well then I'm gonna stay there. But if I focus on all the things I'm grateful for, mm -hmm. and I would take myself out for the walks at the Cleveland parks, and I would sit and play the piano, or I would teach one of my courses at the Cleveland Institute of Music, I always had gratitude every single day. I went to the Botanical Gardens or I went to the museum. You do mm -hmm. something that you could be grateful for, even in the pandemic. Yes. You know, you don't have to sit and be afraid. You know, if there's a place you can go out and walk, walk. You can be yeah. with nature, go. 
if there's a a couple times a week where you can get on a Zoom call with someone and have a yes. really beautiful visit yes. with your hearts, do it. Yes. You have choice points, everybody, and, and we must see them that way. Yes. You know, we have a choice to see it that way or to not. I do know people that don't see it that way mm -hmm. and don't choose to, but as Deepak Chopra says, oh, and that's, they're doing the best they can. That's the level of consciousness where they are at the moment. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. And thank you for sharing that, uh, the heart intelligence. Are those two questions something that will allow for the answer to come to the surface for clarity for someone who's actually asking those questions? Yes. Be mindful. Mm -hmm. of asking questions with your heart mm -hmm. without an expectation. Without an expectation. Mm -hmm. Meaning, uh, don't expect the answer necessarily in an hour mm -hmm. or tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Remember that mantra I gave, everything has an appointment and a purpose and it's on time. Mm -hmm. Ask, activate it with an intention, mm -hmm. an intention setting. Intention setting is not goal setting. Mm -hmm. And it opens the channels for receptivity to be clear. Mm -hmm. If I have an expectation or I'm doing it out of that kind of ask, mm -hmm. I will. it will be a different outcome. Yes, thank you for sharing that. And in fact, one time you were with Valerie Romanoff, if I got her name correct. Yeah, she was I, a guest on my show, yeah. Yeah, and then uh, I just woke up and then I was listening to both of you. For some reason, it was so uh, pleasant because normally I go into the shower right after waking up. But when I was listening to both of you, it was just so pleasant. I ended up watching the whole thing before Good. taking the shower, which was my normal uh, pattern. So, Good. Any, anyway, uh, Dr. Kathleen, Ralph, please flash the announcement on board so we can show her website. So I invite all our viewers to visit Dr. Kathleen's website. And if there's something else that you'd like to share or announce to your audience, please do so. Uh, doctor. If you go to the website drkathleenreilly.com, right on the top page of the page, it says, you know, or, or no, you scroll down. I'm sorry, you scroll down just one, and you it'll say download the free PDF, and that's what Dr. Um, Reverend Reverend Reg is talking about. The it's um, intentions from the heart. Okay, I encourage you to download that, and it's yeah. got a lot of these pieces in it. You can also, there's a poetry book. I'm not sure where page it's on, but I, I did write a poetry book, Inspirations from the Heart, that I was hoping to share a couple of, but we got off on other things. But that is here, and it's available on Amazon as well. So, Intentions from the Heart. Inspir in, in, Intentions from the Heart is the, the PDF. Inspirations from the Heart is the poetry book, and there's more books coming out uh, in yes, 2021. Yes, amazing. And I'm excited to share that to our audience. and. In fact, two of my friends here in our yoga space actually uh, love your material. So I'm sure it's going to be a topic we're going to discuss um, amongst ourselves this Great. week. Oh, wonderful. All okay. right. All right. Uh, next one, please, Ralph. For... All right. And I also want to thank uh, Unity Philippines and Benedictine International School for uh, letting me use their facilities the last couple of episodes and moving on. Of course, I want to thank our University of Metaphysics, University of Sedona, and the International Metaphysical Ministry for being one of our supporters here in Practical Magic. And to all my colleagues who guested here in the show, thank you so much for your time. And there's also an ongoing scholarship for those of you who would like to take advantage of the scholarship for University of Metaphysics. We have an amazing 
discount at the moment. And in fact, it's been around for 20 years because of the alumni donations. People are able to save about $3,500 for the tuition cost and they're only paying $1,290 for their doctorate degree. So Ralph, please flash the scholarship. Uh, so this is the doctoral program tuition options for those who want to become scholars of University of Metaphysics and other details that you'd like to know about our university. And next one, please. And I also want to thank Dr. Anita Capiz, uh, Dr. Diana Bini, Dr. Cindy Palos, uh, Dr. Yolanda Dukes, and Jennifer Hill for guesting on the show and for continuously supporting us. So that's all for tonight. Are there uh, other things that you'd like to discuss before we end the show? No, just my gratitude for being with you all. And I send everyone blessings Thanks. from my heart. Thank you so much, Dr. Kathleen Riley. And just a very quick uh, affirmation of the prayer of protection. Please close your eyes and take a deep breath in and out. And together, let's affirm the light of God surrounds us, the love of God enfolds us, the power of God protects us, the presence of God watches over us. Wherever we are, God is and all is well. And so it is. Satnam, everyone. Thank you to my co-producers and our tech team, Ralph, Dax, Dean, and Jason. Thank you, everyone, and our viewers. See you again next week. And stay tuned. Remember, here in Practical Magic, you remind everyone you're actually the magic that you've been waiting for. Enjoy the rest of the week. Stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on Z81 Radio, Manila.